Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another episode of Make a Game for Free. This is the part 1 of making the combat system. And in this part we're gonna make the player attack and kill the enemy. I'm sorry that this took so long, but uh, hopefully it helps you out because I really struggled with this. If you wanna check out how I made the other scripts I used in this video, be sure to check out the playlist in the description. First thing I did, I went to character stats and I made a new function. This function is called take damage and it's public. It also takes in a integer for damage. In this function I just simply wrote down health minus equals damage, which is the same as saying health equals health minus damage. And then simply check health. So if you don't understand this, what I did is I subtract the health with damage that we put in by the function name. If you still don't get it, just follow along, you will get it later. Then I create a script called character combat. In this script I created a variable called my stats and in start I just set it set my stats to be equal to the component character stats on this uh, object. So this is where it gets a bit complicated. Then I create a public void melee attack. And this takes in character stats which we're gonna simply call target stats. So these are the stats attached to the object that we're attacking. And then simply I call the take damage function from the stats of the object that we're attacking. And in the brackets I set the damage that we're gonna do. And the damage that we're gonna do is the stat is my stats dot damage. This sounded so dumb but hopefully you get it. The last script I created is called enemy and this is a script from which we're gonna check if if the player can attack the enemy. So this is also really complicated, but hopefully you can follow along. So I create a couple variables up here. One for radius, which is the attack radius around the enemy in which player has to walk in so he can attack. I set the value to two, and then I create a game object player. The last thing is I create a public character stats my stats. So these are the enemy stats. Now another script that you will need if you want this to work is player manager. So what this is it's a singleton and what that is it's a kind of a public variable that you can call from er 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 any script and you don't have to set it in the editor. So what you will do here you will create a public static player manager instance and then you're gonna set the instance to be equal to this. And then we're gonna cre create a public game object player. Now, I'm also not sure what this, what everything in here means, but uh, you know, you just have to deal with that sometimes. Go to your scene and create a empty object, place it anywhere you want and attach the player manager script to it. Now set the player to be equal to the player. So just drag it from your scene to the script. Back in the enemy script, in void start we set the player to be equal, equal to the player manager that instance that player. Then we set my stats to be equal to the component uh, character stats on the object, aka on the enemy. And then in void update, we create a if statement that is gonna check if Q is pressed. Now I set this to be Q just for testing. I'm gonna change that later. You can set it to anything else you want. So this is the button that you press if you want to attack. So when that button is pressed we're gonna create a new variable distance. And this is going to be the distance from the enemy to the player. And then we're gonna check if the distance is less or equal than the radius. So we're checking if the player's in the radius. If it if he is then we're gonna create a new variable called character combat or we're just gonna call it player combat. And we're gonna set that to be equal to player get component character combat. So that is the character combat script attached to the player. Then we simply check if player combat is not null. So if it exists, then we're gonna call player combat melee attack, and we're gonna attack my stats, aka the enemy stats. The last thing, void on draw gizmos is not needed, but you can do it. I'm gonna show you what that does. So that just creates this sphere around the enemy and it 
projects the range in which player has to walk in to attack. So it just shows you the radius. So first thing is I set the color of the of the sphere to red, and then I drew a wire sp a sphere from the transfer position, and it's big as the radius. Now just to optimize our game a bit better. First, you're gonna go back to camera controller and set the transform target to be equal to our player manager instance player transform. Then you're gonna go back to player look to mouse, and then you're gonna do the same thing for transform player. Also, a small change I did in the character stat script is I changed the check health, check mana, and check stamina functions. I just delete the else statement, so now it's just if statement here. And I did that to all of them. Now hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you understood it and it helped you out. Now I don't want you to copy paste this into your own project, I want you to think about this and you should really know what you're doing when you're uh, coding. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time and go follow me on Twitter. There's a bunch of cool stuff there and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye-bye.